Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 2.10, Problem 23. This is Section 2.10, Problem 23. We have 2.5 plus 7.5 divided by 3 fifths. And the point of this type of a problem is that you have two mathematical operations. You have to decide which one will occur first. There's an addition with a plus and a division. So the answer is the division must be done first. So, let me leave the two and a half for just a minute. It'll stay out in front. And for the next step, I want to do seven and a half divided by three fifths. So if you remember, when you divide fractions, what I'm going to do is flip or invert the second fraction, make it a five thirds, and multiply times the seven halves. But when I multiply fractions, I want to multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. I have to have just the top and bottom or numerator and denominator for the seven and a half. So, as I come down to the next step in this problem, the next line, I'll leave the plus. This 7 and a half can be rewritten as 15 halves, and I get that by multiplying the denominator times the number in front. 2 times 7 is 14. Take that result of 14 and add to the numerator. 14 plus 1 more is 15. So the 7 halves can be written as 15 halves and I'll just leave divided by three-fifths for one step. So the first thing I did is I changed the seven and a half to an improper fraction, a fraction with a larger numerator than denominator, so that I can finish off that division. And again, the division must be done before the addition. Now, to complete my division, what I'm gonna do, I'll leave the two and a half in front of the problem for one more step. The 15 halves can stay, but the three-fifths gets inverted to 5 thirds and that division change to, changes to a multiplication. So you invert the second fraction and it becomes a multiplication. Now I have to do the multiplication before the addition still. So 2 and a half plus um, I'm going to have 15 times 5 on the top and 2 times 3 in the denominator. So I can reduce some of this first. The 3 and the 15 reduce nicely. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 15 5 times. So in the numerator, I have 5 times 5, which is 25. And in the denominator, 2 times 1, which is 2. So I have 2 and a half plus 25 over 2. So I could make them both mixed numbers, like the two and a half, or I could go both improper fractions, which might be a little bit easier. Let me do this. Two, plus, uh, two times two, the denominator times number in front. I'll multiply. Two times two is four. Take the result I get and add to the numerator. Four plus one more is five. So I'll have five halves plus 25 halves, and I already have a common denominator of two. So now with my common denominator, 5 plus 25 is 30, and it's over a denominator of 2, and that can be reduced. 30 over 2 reduces very nicely to 15, so the final answer is 15, a whole number.